And Derek, usually we don't get severe weather during severe weather preparedness week. This is supposed to be a good month ahead of the typical season to get you ready for it uh, so you're ready in time. Instead, it's just been so warm through February and March that we're getting severe weather season a good month, month and a half early. All right, now we're looking at a severe thunderstorm warning for northern DeKalb County. It's the only warning that we have within our viewing area right now. That's for Kirkland and Genoa under that warning. 60 mile an hour wind gusts, quarter sized hail, so both of those could be damaging. As we take a look at this on exact track radar, you can see it does cross the county line into Boone County a little bit. It is south of Belvedere, but those areas just south of I-90 may get some heavy rainfall and some lightning. The severe warned portion of it is on the other side of the county line. Just went through Kirkland with some large hail heading towards Genoa with similar threats, plenty of lightning, gusty winds, hail, and of course those downpours. Uh, so tracking that along, it will be into Genoa by about 622 and then heading its way towards Hampshire and Burlington closer to 630. As we zoom out, again, that's the only strong to severe thunderstorm we're keeping an eye on right now. Additional storms brewing up near Amboy as well as Sublette and uh, Elizabeth Stockton could be seeing some thunderstorm activity. Nothing severe there, but we're going to have to keep an eye on any of these storms because they've had a history throughout the afternoon and now into the evening of uh, producing some large hail. You can see all those different hail reports from several storms crossing our backyard so far. We remain at a risk for severe weather across the rest of this evening. Still sitting at about a one out of five risk for severe storms. Even if we don't see severe weather, may still get some downpours, lots of lightning and some gusty winds as we still have another round of storms to go. It's because of the cold front that's causing a big temperature switch, kind of like what we saw last week. That'll produce additional showers and thunderstorms really through the rest of this evening. You can see here on future track might get a little bit of a lull over the next couple hours, but nine o'clock things picking back up again may not see necessarily severe weather with this round, but there could be a lot of heavy rainfall. May see up to three quarters of an inch, an inch of rain in total. That may be enough to briefly flood the roads early tonight. So watch out for that driving hazard as we go through midnight. These showers and storms finally clear closer to sunrise tomorrow, and then we are a lot cooler and drier through at least the middle portions of this week. You look ahead in the forecast, about 20 degrees colder with some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions through Thursday. Then Friday brings rain back, maybe see some soaking showers at times. Then cold enough, may get a little snow to mix in early Saturday. That's pretty typical of March. After that, sunshine and colder weather for the rest of the weekend. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, the weather roller coaster just wants to keep going. We may be back up into the upper 60s, low 70s by the middle of next week. So we'll have to brace ourselves for maybe some more strong storms once that cool down eventually happens.